Well, this is the story of two versions of the same song. The song is called Molly Bone and Brian Og. The first version we found in Bundoran. The second version is attributed to my grandmother, May O'Brien. But the story starts a long way from two. Leo did all the driving. We were going round doing a few old gigs here and there. Five weeks we were in it. This day anyway, he says to me, will you look up the screaming orphans? I'd never heard of them. Four sisters from Bundoran, Joan, Glania, Marie Therese and Angela Divers, the screaming orphans. We were all going to be playing at the Ohio Celtic Festival in Mental, not far from Cleveland. My first impression of the Screaming Orphans was when they were performing on stage. I saw an experienced live band on top of the game and holding that festival crowd. She's kicking fall on the floor with her leather boots Singing a song we have some whoops Blonde hair flashing, cymbals clashing Rest of the band is a giving it a lash Putting on the harmony in the show business If you please, they're the orphans Screaming orphans Orphans. So where are we going today? We're going to Sligo first and then we're going to go to Bundoran. Let's see, visit our friends from our, uh, <laughs> our school school life as musicians. They're, they're from Donegal and they're from New York. The mother was singing the song of the show, Glanny Lois. Yeah, I wonder did she write it or did she just write a version of it and that other people wrote different versions? This is Kathleen Fitzgerald. She used to be the singer in Fitzgerald's Cayley Band, but here she's singing in her own house, accompanied by her four daughters, the Screaming Orphans. The song is Molly Bourne and Brian Og. I knew this song, had heard it at the Tomb Lunchtime Music Session, performed by PJ McGrath and Mary Laurel. Mary told me the song was written by May O'Brien, Leo's Glanny. So to hear it in Kathleen's leopard trial in Bondone was a surprise. They gave us a great welcome at the Divil's house. We got the Donegal hospitality, rhubarb tart and ice cream, and a concert of music and song. You wouldn't find the like of it anywhere. But the time came to go, so we went out and took the selfie Myself and Leo hit the road for tune. Kathleen remembers finding the lyrics to Molly Bourne and Brian Og hand lit into the guest book at her family's boarding house by some unknown visitor. She sang the song as a duet with her brother Barney in Fitzgerald's Cayley Band and it proved so popular with the audience that the band recorded it. The song was written and recorded by another local woman, Delia Murphy, 
along with Richard Hayworth. May O'Brien wrote a sketch based on the song, and we were given a video of that sketch being performed by Nelly Fahey and Mary Laurel at an old folks party in June. As the fun commences, the Johnny Flynn Band is on stage with Billy Holian singing. Ladies and gentlemen, Molly Vaughan and Brian Oak. recently at her home about her involvement with the Tune Theatre Guild. She was part of the cast of Shadow of a Gunman in 1960, performing alongside her neighbour, Tommy Murphy, from Church View. Things, but Murphy was in that now. Yes, I see that. Yeah, and, uh, he was Donald Devon. Mm -hmm. That's Shadow of a Gunman. And Tommy Varden was Seamus Shields. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. A peddler. Do you remember this well? You do? I do, very well, yeah. 1960? Yeah. Yeah, that was early on. Mm -hmm. So you're Mary Higgins, are you? I'm Mary Higgins, yeah. Mrs. Henderson? Mrs. Henderson, yeah. What was Mrs. Henderson like? She was, come along in, Mr. Tavern, Mr. Dad has one, he's one of our own. There's a letter for you, there's a letter. Well, this is the time of on the outside when I was in the theatre field in the beginning. I knew when Murphy and Noel O'Donoghue were writing on the outside because that was 1959, 60, you know. And um, we knew Murphy and Noel O'Donoghue were writing a play, you know. But they wouldn't let us see no or anything like that. But that's where it all started. Tom Murphy and the Saw Doctors achieved great success writing about their local place for the wider audience. But in the generation before that, May O'Brien wrote directly towards her local audience, as her son Mel describes. Uh, my mother used to write uh, parodies on a lot of things. Oh yes, my mother wrote a parody on the old bog road. And it was all about what happened up the Dublin Road. Went to school up the Dublin Road, the courthouse was up the Dublin Road. And uh, the final one was the journey. The final journey was up the Dublin Road to the cemetery. And there was a man called Johnny Ban. And he sang it at a concert in the town hall. Uh, it was the talk of the town. This the assault. We found out about the song. It was great to hear Martin O'Brien describe in his mother. To hear Margaret Conley and Mary Lawler talk about the history of Chung Theatre Gun. And to go to Bundoran and listen to the screaming orphans perform with their mother, Kathleen Fitzgerald. That's the story for you now. <laughs>